Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of multi-step multiplication and division problems. This is standard 3.4K in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 15 of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we've got Martin has 11 cages. Each cage can hold seven birds. The store has 21 birds in its cages. What is the greatest number of birds that Martin can add? Okay, that's a good question here. So let's draw some cages. They say that we've got 11 cages. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw 11 cages. Let's just make them rectangles, and I'll make them kind of you know decent size here. All right, so I can't quite split that up evenly. So what I'll do is I'll do an incomplete array. I'll do uh, two rows of four, and then this last row is going to have to be of three. All right, so there we go. So there's my 11 cages. Now, each cage can hold seven birds, and so let's just let's just put a seven underneath each one. All right, and I'll put a seven on the side here because I'm kind of running out of room. There we go. The store has twenty one birds in its cages. So oh, that's twenty one birds, right? So let's just start filling them in there. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Remember, there's seven each, so this one's full. And I've got eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. This one's full. And then I've got fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, so there's my twenty-one. I actually have three full cages. So what is the greatest number of birds that Martin can add to his cages? Well, look, I've got empty cages. How many empty cages do I have? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight empty cages. And how many can I put in each cage? Well, I can put seven, right? So if I can, I can skip count by sevens. Seven, 14, 21, 28. 35, 42, 49, 56. And there's my 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If I knew my facts, right, I could say 8 times 7 equals 56. Okay. So let's see if we can... I see this 56, but can I show this as an equation, or show, can I show this as a strip diagram? Right, so Martin has 11 cages, and each cage can hold seven birds. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my total up here. Okay, so my total is 11 cages equals seven birds. Okay, so how many is that? Well, that's going to be 11 cages times seven. All right, so that makes 77. My total is going to be 77 birds. That's the max. I already have 21 birds in my cages, so what I need here is a part, part, whole. So I've got my 21 that I've already taken, and then my unknown is what is the greatest number of birds that I can add to my cages. All right, so it looks like it's just a basic part, part, whole. So that means I can subtract, right? So let's see, 77 minus 21, right? That's 7 minus 1 is 6. 7 minus 2 is 5. Yeah, all right, so 56 does work. I drew a picture, and I also drew uh, you know, a strip diagram. If you wanted to add back up, just to double check, your 56 plus the 21 that's already there, that is going to make 77. And that's the total number that I can add, because that's 11 times 7. All right, so my answer here is going to be B, 56.